Jeannie with Norton Scraps. I'm here to wish you a Merry Christmas. I don't know about you. I've got all my cards done. My gifts are wrapped. In fact, they're even given out at this point in my life. And it's about time to start thinking of thank you notes. Today I'm going to be creating a very simple note card that can carry forward into the new year. It can be used as a thank you card or simply just an I'm thinking about you. But it's going to have a personal touch because its main decoration is going to be my initial. So what I have done from the Cindy Lou cartridge, I've selected the capital H and I've also selected one circle. I'm going to be working with the capital H now. I've selected it and I'm going to size it up to where the greater of the width and the height is two inches. Close to it. And now I'm going to be working with my circle. I'm going to decrease the greater to 0.5 inches. Go down just a little further. Oops. And now I'm going to duplicate that. So I go to the advanced menu and duplicate it. Return to my basic menu and I'm going to decrease the size of the second circle to approximately 0 0.3, 0.32. And bring it over, place it in the center so that I'm creating a hanging tag and I'm going to group. group. Now with this grouped, I'm going to move it on top of my H, placing it over the center of one leg, group the whole thing, Go to my Advanced tab and weld it. And that's what I'll have cutting as far as my initial. Now I want this to be a dimensional issue so let me zoom out. And what I'm going to do, turn off the eye, return to my basic, I'm sorry, move this up here and I'm going to duplicate that for a total of four. Now I have my initials. And now I'm going to start working on my card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to return to Cindy Lou and I'm going to select one of these background shapes. I like this one. Let's get rid of that. And we're going to bring it to the map. This can be used, I'm going to layer this. It can be used both as the background and the front of the card, but I think today I'm just going to use it as the backgrounds for my initial. So I'm going to size it. I've turned off my yellow chain. I'm going to size it to 4.5 square. So I select width 4.5 and height number pad 4.5. Say OK. Now I'm going to turn my chain back on and size it down just a little bit. Don't want it over the edge of my card. I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to return to my basic menu and size that down a little bit more so I get a nice little overlap. I'm going to create a second layer and I'm going to go into probably just because cards, I simply love the, all the selection of cards that I have available. And I'm going to probably, it doesn't seem to matter, maybe that one. Take it to my mat and I'm going to size it up. I've deselected my chain over here, turned it white. My width, I'm going to go to 9. The way I get that, 4.5 plus 4.5 is 9. And for my height, I'm going to go to 4.5. And then I'm going to slide it over my background looks just about right. I'm going to put it there. So let's go back to layer one. Select that one and I'm going to take it down just a smidge. There we go. A little bit smaller. All right, now it's time to go cut out our design. Okay, I have all my bits and pieces cut out. 
and I'm getting ready to put it all together. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my Tim Holtz Distress Ink, which Santa Claus brought to me, and I'm going to add it to the edges of my music paper just to give it a little bit more of um, contrast. Move everything off. I like the mat because it cleans up with a nice little swipe of a baby mat, a baby wipe. So I'm going to ink up my pad. And I have to say, Makeup Girl, thank you very much for addicting me to this. It is just the best. It goes on smooth. You can add as little or as much as you want. And you, you don't lose your design. It doesn't hide. It just gives it a nice edge. I like the way that looks. So I'm going to set it aside now so it can finish drying. And I'm going to assemble my little monogram charm. I'm going to take my four pieces of the H, lay them out, and this is the paper I've used is the jewel tone paper from Michaels, and it has a, a really pretty glossy, shiny finish, and I want that to end up on the, the top. So I'm going to take my, my Zig pen. Oh, don't worry, I can get that off. And I'm going to go around put all my layers together here, making sure I get it out to the little ends so that they don't curl. Layer one, and I'll line them. I pick it up and move it around. It also helps spread my glue out. Very nice, firm letter for my, the front of my card. Now I'm going to take the base to my note card that I created on layer 2. Make sure it's nice and tight. And I'm going to ink the edges with my Tim Holtz so that I can kind of tie my entire design together. A very personal note card that can be sent in a jiffy. Hope you all have had a good time. I've enjoyed being with you today, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. So long from Jeannie at Nona Scraps.